Hello friends, today we're going to be doing chapter seven, Guiding Reading Comprehension by Anayeli, Maria, and Nayeli. Organizing principles, teachers guide students reading by modeling how to read, think, and learn with text. The scaffolding and structure in the, in the use of comprehen comprehension strategies that allow students to learn with text in meaningful ways. Modeling, modeling comprehension strategies. Comprehension and structure support teaching of content area, area concepts. Students' comprehension improves when teachers explain and model these strategies. Incorporate think aloud reciprocal teaching, question answers, relationships, and questioning the authors into their instructional routines to show students how to read, think, and learn with discipline specific text and this uh picture is uh not bad oh it's fine there you go and this um uh visuals help us visualize how we should teach uh reading by rereading the text activate prior knowledge by first oh. first during reading and after use content and cues and for meaning think aloud Summarizing the story, locating keywords and make predictions, use words, attract, attach strategies while you're reading, visualizing, using different graphic organizers, and evaluate understanding. Some strategies that are found in the book are think aloud teacher where the teacher makes their thinking explicit by verbalizing their thoughts by reading orally and it allows the readers to clarify their understanding of reading. There are five points that can be made during think alouds which you can find in the book. Reciprocal teaching you model how to use four comprehension activities while leading a dialogue and the key is to adjust the task to support students with difficult when difficulty arises the question answer relationship you help the students become aware of this of and skilled in using learning strategies to find the information they need to comprehend at different levels of response to the text and questioning the author models the importance of asking questions while reading for example what is the author trying to say here Instructional strategies. So these strategies teach students how to approach reading material with an inquisitive mind. They are a bridge between teacher initiated guidance and independent learning behavior by students. Some things to consider while teaching the, with instructional strategies is to first think about the content you're going to plan to teach and then that implement strategies that best support your presentation of content area material. So you do not have to use all strategies, you could use some strategies or just one at a time. There are many different types of instructional strategies and some mentioned in the book are the KWL, which is often used, know, want, want and want, what you know, what you want to learn, know and what you want and what you have learned. Secondly, Discussion webs, guided reading procedures, interact, directed reading, thinking activities. And each of these can be adapted to serve different content area materials, all based off of what you're gonna teach. So here are some examples of all of those mentioned. We have the KWL chart. This is an interact. This is the, the reading teacher activity. Sorry, I forgot what it is. And then this is a guided reading and this is the web, which is all in which you can include into your lessons and activities. And all of these are can be used in 
in various academic areas such as math class, science class, health education class, etc. The KWL procedures may be initiated with a small group of students or the whole class. So normally a teacher will start teaching as a whole class so the students can get an uh, idea and know how, learn how to do it. But here is some um, uh, strategies that how this works. So first introduction in conjunction with the new topic or text selection. It's important to first find out what we think we know about the topic. B, uh, as a teacher, you need to be uh, sure that the students understand what their role involves and why it's important. Uh, second is the identification. They need to identify what the students think they knew about the topic. Use the format as you record the students' ideas. The key in this step is to get the whole class actively involved in making associations with the topic. To generate a list of students' questions, the role is to students to ask questions about material to be studied. Have students use their own strategy sheet to make connections about what they personally think. Uh, organization is anticip anticipate the organization and the structure of idea that the author is like the outer is like to use in the text selection. Students can focus on the idea they have brainstormed before. As the brief, they read the text selection to answer the question. Students may need demonstration or two to understand how to record information in the L column. Engage. It's um, so easy if you just follow up with activities to clarify and extend learning to internalize students' learning. We can include the con construction of the graphic organizer. Reading guides. What exactly is a reading guide? A reading guide provides instructional support as students need its prompting higher order thinking. So guides are meant to help the students comprehend text better and over time they should be able to get into more difficult text without having to use any reading guides at all. Reading is a thoughtful process and readers construct meaning at various levels of thinking and conceptual difficulty. Good readers search for conceptual complexity in material, focusing not only on what the author says, but also on what the authors mean by what they say. Three-level comprehension guide. A three-level comprehension guide provides the framework in which students can interact with difficult texts and different levels of comprehension. Help students grow towards nature, nature reading and independent reading. A teacher must decide the following. What important idea, idea should be emphasized? What are the students' competencies? What depth of understanding are the students accept the, uh, expect to achieve? Difficult of material, difficulty of material. Have you made these decision, decisions? Consider the following guidelines to better guide you. First, begin construction of guide level, uh, the interpretive level. Next, search the text for the, for the propositions and explicit pieces of information needed to support the inference you have chosen for level two. Decide whether you want to add a destructure or two levels one and two. Develop statements for level three, the applied level be flexible and adaptive. That is it. Thank you guys all for watching.